Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can tell if a given whole number is prime or composite. We have the following rules to determine if a whole number is prime or composite. So if n is composite, then it must be true that n has a prime factor p such that p squared is less than or equal to n. If that is not true, then we can say that that whole number is prime. So this just says the opposite. If n is a whole number greater than one and n is not divisible by any primes such that p squared is less than or equal to n, then n is prime. So let's take a look at that in an example. We want to determine if the number 137 is prime or composite. So the first question that we need to ask is, what are the primes for which p squared is less than or equal to 137? It's going to be important for these methods that you know the first several prime numbers. So our smallest prime number is two, and two squared is four. Four is certainly less than 137, so it will be a candidate. Our next prime number is three. Three squared is nine, which is less than 137. Our next prime number is 5. 5 squared is 25. Our next prime number is 7. 7 squared is 49. The next prime number after 7 is 11. 121 is still less than 137. The next prime after 11 is 13. Ah, but 13 squared is 169. So the candidates that we need to see if they divide evenly into 137 are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. So we want to check separately if each one divides 137. Here we can either do long division and check for a remainder of 0, or we can try to employ our divisibility rules. When we check to see if 137 is divisible by, divisible by 2, we can see that it is not because 137 does not end in a multiple of 2. For 3, we could add up the digits 1 plus 3 plus 7 and see that those sum to 11, so 3 does not divide 137. Because 137 does not end in a 5 or a 0, we can see that 5 does not divide 137. We can also continue this pattern and check 7 does not divide 137 and neither does 11. So because none of the primes for which p squared is less than 137 divide evenly into 137, we can say that we know 137 is prime. All right, so let's try that one more time. Now we want to check out the number 217. We're going to start exactly the same way by asking what are the primes for which p squared is less than or equal to 217. We're going to be making the same list as last time and stop when we get to our first p squared greater than 217. So that list includes 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 squared, which is 169, is now included. The next prime after 13 is 17, but 17 squared is 289. So 17 will not be included in our list. So now we need to check if each one divides our 217. 2 does not divide 217 because it is not even. 3 does not divide 217 because 2 plus 1 plus 7 is 10. 5 does not divide 217 because it does not end in a 5 or a 0. But we can check and verify that 7 divides 217. Because that means that 217 has a divisor other than 1 and 217, we know that 217 is composite. All right, guys, that does it for this video on whole numbers. 
how to tell if they are prime or composite. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.